Okay, I'm just going to come out and say it. Okay, there's always going to be hate out there when you come out with the truth. So I, there's uh, marine vinyl, which is like the rage on YouTube right now, even for cars. People are putting marine vinyl in cars for some reason. I don't know why, but you know, it's the thing, right? Okay, so here you have automotive vinyl. Okay, and I'm going to tell you right now why marine vinyl is a scam. The one thing I do have to say about marine vinyl is it's available in a lot of bright colors. You can see that right there because boats, people like bright colors in their boats. The suppliers, they love selling marine vinyl because generally it costs a few dollars more a yard. So you know what that means? That means more profit. Okay, so here's the big secret. Shh, tell everybody. But before I get to that, I wanted to mention something about the automotive vinyl. Some of the advantages of automotive vinyl is you get these really cool uh, grained vinyls like carbon fiber. You're going to see some, some perforateds in there. You're going to see some little swirly vinyls in there. Uh, different other types of grains like that right there you're gonna see this one here's like a fake perforation so here we go I'm gonna let you in on the secret but only if you can handle the truth think you can handle the truth okay here we go so with the marine vinyl we're gonna start here with weight so as you can see here the weight I see 27 30, 27, 27, 29, 30, 30, 36, 29, 29, 36, 28. Now I'm moving on to the automotive. Let's take a look at the weight. 29, 29, 28, 29, 28, 28, 28, 29, 28, 28, 28, 28. Okay, you got the idea, right? Mm-hmm. Now back to the marine. We're going to go down here to UV resistance and cold crack. So you can see there's UV resistance, 650 hours. Cold crack, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, okay? So you kind of get the idea of that one. Now back to the automotive. You want to see, move down here to cold crack and UV, 650 hours. So you can see there, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, minus 10. For the marine quality UV stabilized 650 hours. Okay, I'm going to show you that some of these vinyls are UV protected, just like the marine. But however, you'll see some are empty dots there, which are not UV stabilized pigment. But I'm going to tell you right now why that doesn't matter. Get your defibrillators ready. Get ready for the heart attack. These are pieces, leftover pieces from old boat projects. So this is marine vinyl. So tell me if you think that the marine vinyl held up well in the sun and in the weather. Okay, so that's that's marine vinyl right there. Okay, we got cracks, and you know what? It's brittle, it's, and, and it's really thin. It feels just like cardboard. You can hear it. It's crinkling. Sounds like a paper bag, right? Look at this one. Tell me if this marine vinyl held up well. You know, I didn't save these just to make a video. Um, this is an everyday occurrence for me because I lived uh, about 15 minutes from a, a big lake in Texas. And I get a lot of boat and I get a lot of jet ski seats. And they all look like this. And you know what they all have in common? They're all done in marine vinyl. So earlier I was talking about UV resistance on the automotive vinyl. Why it doesn't really matter. And this is my logic. I'm showing it to you. So I hope you believe your eyes. You don't have to take my word for it. One more quick look at this marine vinyl before I give you my opinion. 
I will tell you that I will never ever pass off automotive vinyl for marine to my customers okay I, I will tell them just like I told you here okay the differences between marine and the differences between automotive that I don't think that is the 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 choice of longevity or how well it's going to do in the sun it's going to matter I don't think it's going to matter at all okay I think what's more important is because with these two books okay I they have a lot of choices now they have twice the choices so they can they could choose choose colors and grains out of this book or they can choose colors and grains out of this book so now they got a huge wide variety to choose from and I think that that's more important than anything else is giving my customers the freedom to choose and it is my further opinion that whatever it is that you do end up choosing whether it be vinyl for automotive or vinyl for marine okay this is what you're going to end up with eventually because time will take its toll on this material so you could look forward to this happening in the, your future uh, if you use vinyl for marine or vinyl for automotive Hey, Miss Nibbles. So now that you have the truth, what are you gonna ask? Ah!